bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Maggie Skura, and we're coming to you today from the lobby of the San Jose Fairmont Hotel, the jewel in the center of downtown San Jose, as we like to call it. A great place to see and be seen, and uh, you never know who you're going to meet. So I'll introduce you to our guest that we happen to meet here. Of course, we invited her. Her name is Diane Doolin, and she is Vice President of Communications for an organization called the Latina Coalition of Silicon Valley. Welcome, Diane. It's Thank you. Great Thank you for to the see invitation. You. And well, tell us about the Latino Coalition. A lot of people, you were saying, have the mistaken notion that it's a political organization, but it's, it's not. We're not a political organization, although I can understand where that impression comes from. The Latino Coalition was established in 1999, and we're basically a membership organization of all types of women, but the, we're, we're united in our commitment to advocating for leadership and civic en engagement among the Latina population in Silicon Valley, basically. So we have Democrats and Republicans, and we have women of all ages, mostly Latina, but not necessarily. We even have some men who join the organization, and we welcome them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an interesting point. So, okay, well, there you heard that, gentlemen. That's intriguing. Uh, what would you say your membership is? Uh, how many? At this point, we're at about 150 members. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have many, many folks who uh, haven't actually joined. We very much need them to, but we keep them apprised of what's going on. We send out a newsletter every month, not just regarding what uh, activities are upcoming for the Latina Coalition, but also to inform folks in the Valley about what's going on with other agencies that they might be interested in. And a lot of the things you do have to do with uh, you know, leadership training and uh, networking and that type of thing. Yeah, It's a great organization to join if you're interested in um, learning about leadership but also networking. So we have local government officials but we also have a lot of business folks who join, um, women of all kinds of education and professional backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Every month we have um, a luncheon. It's the second Friday of every month at Bellamia. Um, folks can find information about it online. It's, uh, our website is www.latinacoalition.org. Okay. We also hold um, periodic socials in the evening for folks who can't get out during the day. Um, and then we also offer workshops periodically. For instance, we had one this year on how to run for school board. And I'm, I'm com mentally commenting on that because we have just interviewed probably dozens of people running for school board and a lot of them it was their first time That's and right. I, I think that that would have been a tremendous assistance to uh, to a lot of folks so that's great that you, you do that good for you you also do something geared specifically toward younger girls and women we did that for the first time this year so we got together and we are a volunteer board all of us have other full-time jobs but we're committed to this idea that Latinas have something to offer and should be involved in their communities and in leadership roles so we took women 18 to 25 that were uh, enrolled in local community colleges and universities and we did a leadership training program over the period of three to four months there was no charge to the ladies that were selected so we did a retreat with them we did um, leadership training for them we took them up to Sacramento for Latina Action Day many of them had never been to Sacramento they met um, representatives you know our state representatives um, and got to attend um, a conference up there we also got them involved in some uh, local civic engagement programs and educated them about the budget process for the County Board of Supervisors and um, the local for the City of San Jose that budget process and um, it was really exciting they got to do some research on issues that they care about um, and so for many of them it was you know a real growth experience and very exciting for us also to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. So double rewards once again. Absolutely. I mean it's an amazing thing to see women in that age group sort of come alive and realize that you know they're, they're, the possibilities are limitless for them. Well thank you so much on that note Diane Doolin. We have your website information as we're uh, showing ourselves to people here so good luck and remember those luncheons every month. That's thank it for so now much. on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Maggie Skura from the Fairmont Hotel in San Jose. We'll see you next time.